With me now is men's ice hockey head coach Derek Schooley. Derek, let's talk about your offense. The guys managed to get 11 goals in the last three games. What made the guys catch fire? Well, we just started to do a little extra work on our uh, scoring. We did some uh, scoring stations on Mondays. Um, our guys put a lot of extra effort into it, and it's uh, kudos to them because they put the work in, and it's good to see them getting results. Let's talk specifically about Nick Chavetta and Scott Jacklin. Those, those, those two guys have combined for 11 points in the last three games. Well, they've done a great job, and uh, Nick has always been a, an energy guy, a good penalty killer, very good defensively, and it's good to see him start producing a little offensively. And Scott Jacklin's a kid we brought in and expected to score, and I think he started off a little slow, had trouble adjusting to the pace of the game, but the last three or four games, he's just been really figuring it out, and it's good to see pucks going in the net for him, especially with, I think, five points in the last three games. So um, hopefully it's just the start of things for Scott. You guys got three points versus Army, which is huge in, league, in the league standings. Um, what else did you guys take away from the weekend? Well, I thought we played very well, and I thought uh, we figured out a little bit how we had to play. And the nice thing was, uh, you know, it was a very good hockey game on Saturday. And um, I was really pleased with our effort. And obviously, we missed some chances. They missed some chances. But, but uh, a really hard-fought weekend, and we did it shorthanded. And um, I think it really kind of took on the identity of our hockey team, and our identity of our hockey team has to be a team that's going to work hard and play close and um, eventually come out on the right side at the end of the game, but uh, we're starting to figure it out, and I'd rather be uh, uh, start off slow than start off fast and uh, wither as the season goes on, and um, I like the way we're climbing instead of uh, going in reverse. You guys head to Connecticut this weekend to face Sacred Heart. What are you expecting out of the Pioneers this weekend? Well, they've been playing very well lately. Uh, they uh, beat Yale when they were ranked in the top 10. They beat them 7-6, which was a high-scoring wild game, and then uh, uh, lost uh, a very close one to Niagara on Friday night, and then uh, came back the next day and uh, uh, tied them with three goals in the third period. So I think they're playing, uh, their record may not show up, but they're playing hockey very well right now, and we need to be ready to play. And going out to Connecticut's a, a long trip for us, and it's not going to be easy travel, so we have to make sure that we uh, are focused and we're ready to play right from the, the get-go for 60 on uh, Friday, then come back to it a quick turnaround on Saturday. Lastly, less than a month away for the Army Hockey Showcase. It's got to be a big game for the guys, especially playing number seven Ohio State. Well, it's always a, a neat thing to play down at Mellon Arena or Consol Energy Center, and our guys have done a very good job down there. We, we tied Ohio State there a couple years ago. We uh, beat Miami when they were number one in the nation there. We've always had some very good opponents there, and, and being able to to bring Ohio State in when they've got a, a very high ranking and playing very well is going to be a neat thing for our fans, but also a good thing for, for our players to, to be able to play another high-level opponent right before we go into the second half of our Atlanta hockey schedule. All right, Coach, thank you for your time and good luck this weekend. Thank you.